Hello and welcome. Please pause the video, read the problem, and try it on your own. You can do it. All right, let's read this problem together. Um, it says, what is the sum? Okay, let's pause there for a moment. We have the word sum. So we're going to add numbers here. Of negative 3 times 10 to the 5th, that's our first number. It's a product of negative 3 and 10 to the 5th. And 5 times 10 to the 6th. And they want us to write our answer in scientific E notation. So we'll get to the notation in a moment. Let's just point out that, you know, this is a little overwhelming because you've got multiplication, you've got powers, you've got lots of things to deal with. But really, let's just step back and say, okay, we're only adding two numbers. Negative 3 times 10 to the 5th, and we're adding that to, I'll put these in parentheses to highlight that, 5 times 10 to the 6th. Right? We're adding these two values. Now, you could write them both in standard form. That wouldn't hurt, and it, it would be very manageable. But I encourage you to manipulate this in terms of scientific notation. That will allow you to access much more um, complex problems with very high powers of 10. Here's what I mean. In order to add these two things, you've got to really make sure the powers of 10 are equivalent. They don't match yet. We can't add the 5 and the negative 3 because they represent different place values. 5 is being multiplied by 10 to the 6, and 10 to the 6 is millions. So this is really 5 million right here. Right? Of course it's 5 million because of the whole thing, the whole product is 5 million. But that 5 is in terms of millions. This negative 3, however, 10 to the 5th is 10 times smaller than 10 to the 6, so that's 100 thousands. So this is negative 3, 100 thousand. So we can't add them directly, right? The 100 thousands place value with the millions place value, they don't line up. So we've got to get the place values to be the same. Uh, what I'm going to do is, you can change either one. I'm going to change this 10 to the 6th to a 10 to the 5th. And I'll do it on the side over here. So we have 5 times 10 to the 6th. I want it to be in terms of 10 to the 5th. So that means I just divided part of my number by 10. Right, 10 to the 6 divided by a 10 gets you 5 tens. Now here, to maintain equivalence, we multiply by 10. We do the opposite. We don't want to change the value of our number. And that's 50, right? So we have 50 times 10 to the 5th. And we're adding that to negative 3 times 10 to the 5th. And now we can add directly. Since we're adding, we can do them in either order. I'm more comfortable putting 50, the bigger number, on top here. Set things up. I start with a larger value. Now, 50 times 10 to the 5th plus negative 3 plus negative 3 times 10 to the 5th. Okay, so scroll down a little bit. Now, if this is overwhelming, we can think of our rules of negative numbers and rewrite this as 50 times 10 to the 5th minus a positive, right, 3 times 10 to the 5th. Subtracting a positive is the same thing as adding a negative. As a side note, Think of it, right? If you have 50 plus negative 3, this is equal to 50 minus positive 3, or just 50 minus 3. And if you're not sure about that, let's just go through it. If you have three negative values added to positive 50, that's 47. 50 minus positive 3 values is still 47. And 50 minus 3, of course, is 47. These are all equal to each other, which means here, because now the powers of 10 are the same, we could just think of 50 minus 3, which is 47, and it's being multiplied by 10 to the 5th. This is our answer. We want it in scientific notation, so we need this first number to be between 1 and 10. We divide by 10, and to maintain equivalence here, we multiply back by 10. So we get 4.7 times 10 to the 6th, and that's our answer. But we can write this in E notation, which would just be 4.7 E6. The e takes place at the times 10 and tells you the number after it is an exponent. Alright, hope this helped.